got the smoker relit. Let's see how Queen Beatrice is doing. Started building some wax from the top of the inner cover. Wax, no wax. But yeah, I am. I've also connected this frame of wax to the inside wall. I don't know how they did that. I don't know why. You guys have heard of B Space, haven't you? Started building out another oh, what the bit heck? of comb what the, what? from the side of the frame. Take that thing. Uh, yeah. Let's see what's in it. That bee is acting. So we have some brood with some capped brood here. See about right here. And eggs. Well. Wow, that drone is huge. Yeah. Like twice the size of the worker bees. These worker bees seem to look a little smaller. Yeah. Than the Queen Anne bees. Oh. Need to put that over here. Down here. So I have one to work. Okay. Oh, they're starting to glue things together a little bit down this end. So we got cat brood here. That's looking good. Some larva. And some more wax. different experience working with a smaller colony. There's less bees everywhere. We're looking cat brood, some pollen, some young larva. They didn't start building from the center. This uh, is what they have Like Queen Anne's hive did. Well, but the difference was in the, in the way that the queen was clustered. See, when I packaged Queen Anne, uh, I put the queen frame, or the queen cage, right in the middle, and they clustered around her. But because this was a, a swarm, the queen moved to the back. Was, 
Awesome. And they clustered around her in the back here, so that's why they're building out in this kind of a configuration instead of starting from the middle. Wow, that's capped honey already. What? But I'm sure it's just syrup that I gave them, but it's yeah. capped. I didn't think I'd get anything this soon because it hasn't been warm. Today is like the first really warm day we've had. So I didn't think that the water content would be decreased that much. We've got some good looking brood here. Okay. I'm going to continue to feed them this week just because they have a lot oh. of comb to build out. And I'm not really looking for any honey. The numbers aren't that strong either, so they right. don't have so much for them. They, they've got a lot of work ahead of them. They're going to need as much food as they can get. Starting to get some cap honey here. But it just looks like syrup, but it's very clear. Got a good looking brood pattern here. Yeah, a little bit, not a lot. Honey, they've been moving all the honey from the syrup container down into the into the cells. It's a little tall right now. Yep. Sure is easier to put frames back when there aren't so many bees. That's because they started to, that one attached here. Yeah, there's some larva here. They're slowly expanding out the brood nest as they build out more comb. Last frame of comb here. So there's only two frames that don't have any comb yet. Um, didn't see the queen, but she's, I think she's doing fine. Okay, so they're doing great. I'll close everything up and give them some more food. just a little closer to the other wall just to prevent them from building more comb on that surface. Okay.